The 11th Street Bridge Park will be Washington, D.C.'s first elevated public park, located on the piers of the old freeway bridge spanning the Anacostia River, connecting Capitol Hill to the communities east of the river. This unique new civic space will provide visitors of all ages the ability to interact with the river, nature, art, entertainment, and each other. The Navy Yard and Anacostia neighborhoods are separated right now geographically. They're separated by the river, by the freeway. Uh, there's also the Washington Navy Yard that kind of separates them because it's a walled base um, between kind of the Capitol Hill community and the river. You'll be surprised that um, a lot of young people don't even go west of the river. They don't take advantage of uh, the museums, the, the mall, and, and uh, all of the rich history. Right now, people who live in the Navy Yard neighborhood or the Capitol Hill neighborhood and the Anacostia neighborhood, they don't really have a whole lot of excuses to interact with each other at kind of informal spaces like this. It's a connection between west of the Anacostia River and east of the Anacostia River in a walkable way as opposed to driving your car across the bridge. You know, you're no longer on this side or that side. You are, you're over the river. You're on this structure which spans. I think the bridge is something that one is just going to be totally cool. I mean, to have a bridge park, everybody in the city, people from outside of the city, people from another country may want to come to D.C. to check out this bridge park. Right now we do have bridges that cross the river, but they're situated on kind of highway style infrastructure that isn't all that attractive to walk across or to bike across or to just sit on and uh, look at the river from. Then to be able to get on the bridge and to realize you're above water and to be sitting at a concert. And you think, I'm sitting on a bridge listening to a concert. And down the way, the kids are playing soccer or they're playing chess. People will come and they'll cross the bridge. And if there's a, a, just one restaurant on the other side or a bar with a nice terrace, looking back at the city and that beautiful view, people from Ward 6 will be there. And that easy access will bring people from Ward 8 across the river to our neighborhood and our local attractions. They will be enriched by our culture as we will be enriched by the cultures of people who live west of the river. I think the bridge is going to bring a lot of people together who normally wouldn't cross paths. The first step in, in getting uh, two sides to, to really enjoy each other is to get two sides to really understand each other. And I think this is a perfect opportunity in a, in a wonderful mutual recreational space to do that. Not being able to access fruits and vegetables is actually a very significant um, health issue for the district. We have a larger issue that we're dealing with, which is an obesity epidemic. Um, Ward 8, for instance, has the highest obesity rate. It's at 42% whereas other wards, um, such as Ward 3, the obesity rates is in the single digits. For so long in public health, we focus on individuals through programming, um, you know, through individual kind of interventions, which are wonderful and which are still needed. But when we're talking about fiscal crises and not having enough money to really focus in on individuals, we need to look at cost-effective ways to really address health and health disparity. The uh, D.C. Department of Health, one of our sister agencies, completed an obesity action plan about three years ago that specifically identified increasing access to places such as parks and, and other locations where people can get recreation and engage in healthy um, exercise as one way to try to re reduce the obesity epidemic. The Bridge Park offers opportunities for recreation, for enjoying the breeze, for picnicking with your family, for just engaging in the natural park space and using these natural resources and facilities that the city has to offer. So now if there's access for people to walk across the river, if there's access to boating, which is recreation, which is physical activity, if that access is now increased, people are going to participate. You have, you have water, you've got a park on one side, you've got blue sky above, and it's, it's space within this urban environment where you just have a little breathing room. It's kind of like, you know, good for your soul. 
the 11th Street Bridge will uh, entice people, encourage people to, let's go over there and see what's going on. It can definitely be a beacon for people in the district, but also in the rest of the country to show how environmental change can really affect health. The Bridge Park is an opportunity to bring awareness to both environmental and social issues in D.C. We have a wonderful waterfront which is underutilized. There are a lot of opportunities for fishing, boating, rowing, kayaking, and just really taking in a lot of the views. Capitol Hill residents are walkers. We walk dogs, we walk strollers, we walk to the Eastern Market, we walk to Barracks Row, we walk to the National Stadium. But we don't see much of the river. We don't really have access to it. You're in a city, you're in a major city, and there is this amazing natural resource, and a lot of people don't know about it or know about it but have never been to it. The Bridge Park creates a destination. It brings people to the water's edge. It allows them to see um, direct impacts with how we're cleaning the river here in D.C., creating opportunities for fishing and actually um, getting down and touching the water. Having an environmental center right by the 11th Street Bridge and the Anacostia River would be really beneficial, I think, for several generations. You know, when you start looking at stormwater education, water quality education, this is a key place to do that. The more people who see it as a resource um, is going to just, it's, it's going to gain momentum. The river is going to become healthier and healthier over time. And I love the river. It's absolutely beautiful. And to get more people there and to realize that and take advantage of it, it's really exciting. Hopefully this bridge will provide easier access to school kids, to residents, to visitors, to get out on the water, to be out in their kayaks or their paddle boats, um, and really enjoy um, and be able to appreciate what's out here. The Bridge Park is an opportunity for us to bring urban revitalization to an area that's underutilized in the city. I think it's a perfect offshoot for what's happening uh, in Ward 6 near the waterfront. Just to add some, some leisure space, some park space, some learning space, and it would help promote the gateway uh, area in Anacostia. Economically, the 11th Street Bridge um, I believe is going to have a big impact in historic Anacostia. It will bring uh, exposure to the residents of Ward 8. I think it will bring heightened knowledge to the rest of the city uh, about Ward 8. I believe one, it's going to be an opportunity for artists to display their gifts, talents, and abilities because there will be a lot of public art that will take place uh, on the Bridge Park. Wherever you have people uh, coming together as a community uh, in an attraction like the Bridge Park. Uh, quite naturally, you have opportunities for commerce to be done, for people to spend money. And then I just see then also it being a way of getting people more and more comfortable with coming east of the river and seeing the richness and what's offered from this community to then allow for more of an economic renaissance east of the river as it has taken place in other parts of the city. There is a lot in Ward 8 to be appreciated, and uh, I think it's a, it's a good opportunity and it's a good vehicle to get residents west of the river to see Ward 8, to see the historic value and all the great things that it does have to offer, and I think that will have a natural impact on business and economic growth.